All right, we replaced the condenser. There's a great video online that shows you how to do it. Um, I also adjusted the points. I didn't change them. I figured, you know, let's just try it and got her all back together. And uh, we, lo and behold, we do have spark. So I did put a little mixed gas in her. Got the plug in, and let's see what she's gonna do. Get you guys sit up here in your perch. Let's see what happens. Try not to get in the way. Would you look at that? This comes roaring back to life. Even while she would have taken off if the I had a constant fuel supply. So, our next step is going to be to get this Tillerson carburetor off and start getting her rebuilt. We got a runner, guys. The old, uh, the old Eaton Viking is, whoa, I almost fell. It's coming back to life. Of course, on a 70 degree day. But still, she's coming back. All right, let's get that carburetor off. why that's all seized up. I don't know if it's the cable or hopefully not. Nope, not the cable. Although the cable is dry. Lube her up really good be the cable. Look at this. No, whatever. Yeah, it's the, the cable is very dry. It's, uh, we'll get some good lubrication in there. Probably need a new one, but what can you do? It's what we got is what we got, right? Now, let me come back once I get that nut loose. Oh, wouldn't you know it? When I use the screwdriver, I would turn the nut the wrong way. What well, moron. Use the screwdriver and uh, clunked it on this side and whoosh, came right off. So, got the carburetor off. We're undoing the screws right now. I'll uh, put the camera down and uh, take it apart. Alright, sorry about the shaky camera. There we go. Mm, yeah, a little bit of schmutz. I'm doing this mostly so I remember how it goes on.
Come on. These are this diaphragm's pretty crusty. I don't think she would have really ran. Might have, but it wouldn't have been wouldn't have been good. It's not like it's still a little pliable, but it's not like I said, it's it's crusty. And just like an OMC Tillotson, I mean take that off, there's a spring there. That guy out. There we go. Alright. Be right back. I swear one of these days I will clean this bench off, but today is not that day. Like I said, the biggest thing is this a bit of crud, but other than that, it's not terrible. So, throw everybody, throw another soup here and go on to something else. Butter simmer. Catch you later. Alrighty, we got the carburetor back on here. I just, I just got to tighten her down. But she's been cleaned out. Put a new kit in. Uh, the jacket on this cable is cracked and, and nasty. Cable itself is okay, but I got one of these, you know, these um, heat shrink wrap things. We're going to do a little shrink wrappage here. to try to protect that cable a little bit more, you know. Oh, I got a little at the end. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Okay, let me tighten this guy down, and away we go. I'm not going to show you how I did that, because <laughs> I will get screamed at. Be right back. All right, our last thing will be a gas tank, and, uh, well, last thing for today, for the weekend. I have a pretty unorthodox solution. Stick a fuel line into there with this on it, hooked up to the bottom of that. Which is in the spout. Should fit with a little finagling. And then your fuel line will come out. Your return line will go on to here. Away we go. Let me set you guys up so you can see see the, the genius in motion. The genius or the flop. It's going to be one or the other. I'll stay tuned. Duck on it. There we go. Boom. Right, tighten this down. Actually, I need to know how much of this I need to cut.
Okay, there's that. Now, where did my rubber grommet go? See? A little guy on there. That was way too big. That's got a little memory to it. Hands in there, though. Get the heck out of there. Oh, I hate that air game. Get in your fucking house.
Okay, okay. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put gas and oil in the tank so that way I don't have to unhook all my lines. And let's see if she works. Be back. Well, here we are again. The circumstances are a little different though. It's fall. Late fall. End of October fall. <laughs> Last video was March. I apologize guys, just been busy doing other things. We have returned to the elusive and infamous 1968 Eaton's Viking. We're still struggling with our fuel supply issue. I got to studying. I'm like, what makes these OMC sleds look like the one yonder? So nice to start. Well, they've got a primer. What, on a majority of sleds in the junkyard, do you see hanging at the bottom underneath the carburetor, all hard and immalleable? A primer. So, I have since ditched the last tank I had, because I was not super impressed with it. This is the one that we had on the Elan. Now, we know it works. So, what my plan is, I'm going to use that siphon hose, which I got from the local auto parts store, because nobody else in the entire area, aside from maybe a sports shop, which I wasn't going to drive over, you know, the Hell's Acres looking for, had nothing even close to that. So the plan is to plumb that guy in to here, using... Wherever it went, the check valve. Yeah, whatever. And then hook her up her right down there. So we'll be able to prime it, and then of course it can come back out and go right back into there. The old suitcase gas tank that I have, which my dad left up north outside since talking but anyways beside the point uh is no good it's too rusty to be repairable so it's just a deck wall hanger at this point so what we need is you know if this will suffice sorry i got my hand in there if this will suffice sorry i got my finger in if this will suffice then uh, we're just gonna run with it i mean this is not gonna go on any big rides if it does, well, then I'll have to explore another option for finding another tank. But besides the point, I don't recall, I don't believe it will fit, it will not fit between the cracks here. However, it, if I can ever get this dang hood off, it will, I bet you, fit right in there perfectly and nicely. But that's not today. So, without any further ado, I have confirmed it does still pop over. I just sprayed a little bit of carburetor cleaner in there. I know. Don't crucify me. There's plenty of oil in there that I've poured fogging oil in there before. So I'm not worried about it. Let's plumb this guy up and see if we can't get it to run on its own tank and stay running. Because that would be awesome. It's a beautiful 70 degree day. Snow's coming though. We had snow last weekend. Not here, but in the state. I think Detroit area saw some snow. Uh, Ironwood in the UP got about a foot. Uh, so it's coming. Be ideal. My idea, my goal, have this critter running and that one running, which is another video. So that way these guys, this can go outside and get covered up until a few months. And this guy can go here into the corner because next weekend we are going back up north to rescue not rescue but get a few more machines to get ready a the the old 96 xlt which i'm not 100 percent certain if you guys have ever seen that on this channel 
Maybe once? I'd have to go through my videos and look. That's a very big maybe. It was on the old channel that I had before this one, which I deleted because Google got stirred. No, this was before because Google changed it over to when they sold YouTube, they changed it over to whatever, and then they lost my password, and oh, we can't recover it. So I'm like, well, screw you then. Well, for whatever reason, I remember the password when I, and I deleted it. I don't know why I did that, but... It will. Because I had quite a few followers on that one. It was GM is what I drive, if anybody remembers that channel. It was an old channel. Wouldn't apply anyways. Look, there's a ram over there. <gasps> the blasphemy. Anywho... Let's get this guy plum plumbed in. You don't want to hear me ramble on. Holy wind. Well, I'd say that's a pretty good fit there. It may be a little redundant, but... Okay, what we're going to do next is we are going to put gas in this guy. This critter with gas in the oil. And then we'll continue plumbing. All right, I don't know why my neighbor just decided to start mowing, but anyway, for tests and purposes only, we got things mocked up here. As you can see, it does kind of work. It worked better over when the tank was over here, so I think we're too low. Um, this does work. We did fill up that filter. We did flood it, so and it's starting to come through here. Let's see if we can get it to pop off. I got you guys. the correct way before. So
don't have a good follow through right now.
Well, we got the beastie to run. It isn't the greatest, though. Um, I did remember after the fact that the spark plug is loose. I'm wondering if that had any, has anything to do with it. I'm trying to find a socket big enough. I don't have a deep well. I can't find my deep well, I should say. I do have a deep well. Holy crap, that camera's shaky. I'm sorry. Um, I don't have a deep well one inch because that's a one inch. So I was hoping I could take that cover off and do something like that, but I don't think it's going to work for us. Nope. Yeah. So let's try to figure this out and move on to the next one. Okay, let's try it again now that we got the uh, spark plug tight. Um, huh. what if this filter thing is what's leaking? Wouldn't doubt it. was running a minute ago. It does not need more choke. Give it a minute. 